got a little bit of an adventure today to create a way where any user can put their PDFs into their website. So I've hunted around, I've looked at about four or five different um, PDF viewers, and this is the one that I've settled on. So what we need to do first is we need to go to our plugins and we need to install it. I've already installed it here and it happens to be called uh, PDF Poster. But if we just do a normal uh, little ad as we normally do, if we go to Add New and in your site you can type in PDF Poster and it goes searching and here it is here. Now you notice in my case it already says that it's active which is fine. And here's PDF poster sitting there ready to go. So once you've installed it and activated it, it puts this uh, dashboard option. So let's click on the dashboard option. And here we are, I've brought into PDF poster our first uh, PDF. So th this is a little bit different. Uh, a lot of the plugins I looked at lets you do it directly into the post or into the page. The reason why I've gone with this one like this is it's a little bit more work, but it's not as geeky. The other ones were, were really geeky, and um, I thought for a general user, they could be a real pain to try and get working. So we go down here and we're going to go add new PDF and it pulls up this little template maker. So we want to select the PDF. We can choose a PDF here and it goes into the library and it shows us all the PDFs we've uploaded into the system. So I've already done uh, December 2018. So I'm going to bring in, because we're going to put a bit of an archive into Joe Allen's website so that uh, it sits there for posterity. So here we have, we've got one from March. So I click on March and I just go use file. Now the advantage is you don't have to remember coding. You don't have to remember the names of the files. We just go in here. We let it have its general height at 1122, which is fine. Uh, the width we leave blank. I mean, if you want to, you can have allow it to print. You might have people that want to print your um, PDF. There we go, down into here. Now he's asking me to donate, which, you know, if I use this uh, plugin on a few sites, um, I might get to a point where I can afford to pay the $84, and everyone that has a website with me will get this uh, plugin free as part of their activity of having a website with me. So here we are here. We need to add a title. So we know if we look at this PDF, and it is right news and it is March 2019 and save real simple this goes ahead and it saves all the little configurations we've done again I, I like this because the configurations are stuff that you do at a GUI level and we don't have to worry about knowing the technical details to be able to do a thing. So if we go to our PDF, and there they are. Now across on the side here, it gives us a little hint. It says, okay, if you want to put this PDF into a post or into a page, all you need is that. So we've got to, we do have to go in here. We have to grab this, and we go copy. And now we can go over to our posts. And again, to make life easy, I've got this clone button. So we don't have to do a whole lot of work to create a new post. We just click on clone. And it creates a copy of that post. And let's go into this post. We'll do an edit. So it says December 2018. So one of the first things we're going to do when we get in here is we're going to change the name to March. 2019. Now remember a second ago I copied what we were wanting to paste in here so I can just go in here I can highlight this and I can paste that in and we've got PDF 7. So we want to go into our documents we want to go into our categories it's a newsletter so that's all been kept the same we can publish 
and so it goes ahead and it publishes this post if we go up into here and we go uh, refresh hopefully if I've done it all right we will now get the correct item on top mm, what have I done wrong so we've still got the Christmas one so let's go back here it is Ah, of course that's a trick I, I don't get that why I have to press it twice but that seems to be a thing I don't know if it's a bug or if it's really to help you to make sure that you do publish when you want to publish but I had to press it twice to make it publish so let's go back in here and refresh and now we've got the correct PDF we can go down into here and here it is loading the PDF quite nicely and we can look through and we can see it now you've also got this option up here views full screen which is kind of nice it then opens up the PDF in a very viewable form now remember a moment ago I said do you want to be able to print well looky here there's the print button so it is possible for someone to go ahead and to print this that basically takes us through the whole process of putting in a PDF into a post. Enjoy!